Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWTF. We want to pass the game show. Mike C. And I'm Fred Watt. I guess you would call this a little bit of the Alien uh, Wear Alpha Upgrade Series. Yeah. Because uh, we're trying to do some big things, so we're getting the pieces together so we can see about building up what they said that couldn't be done, mm -hmm. increasing that uh, graphical output of the Alien Wear Alpha. So what do we have right here, Fred? All right. This is kind. Of, this is going to be kind of an unboxing and um, just information. We want to tell you the pieces that you need so you can do the Alienware Alpha external graphics card upgrade. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't already, already own the Alienware Alpha and you want to be able to use an external graphics card, they did come out with a version 2 of the Alpha, which you can use a amplifier, mm -hmm. uh, which is about 200 bucks, and then you can just put your external PCI graphics card in mm -hmm. there. But if you already have the Alienware Alpha, Which, the first version, mm -hmm. you definitely want to follow this tutorial. We're just going to tell you the stuff that you need to get. Mm -hmm. So by the time you get your stuff, you can follow with us. We want to do a live show, but we want to see how many people are going to participate. Mm -hmm. um, in the comments, if you have Alienware Alpha, please uh, get in contact with us and tell us that you want to follow this tutorial. That's right. Okay? So let's do an unboxing first, and we're going to tell you all the stuff that you need um, to get to do your Alienware Alpha upgrade external right. graphics card. Okay. Um, this is one of the main components. This is, uh, I forgot what it's called. It's called a uh, laptop external graphics card adapter. Mm -hmm. You definitely need this. This is going to let you be able to hook your... Um, graphics card, your, um, was it, PCI Express graphics card, mm -hmm. to this. All right. Um, and I'm going to show you what it comes with. Uh, Mike, you can hold that. Gotcha. Um, it comes with the unit, but this it comes with this power adapter, and we're going to show you how to use this. Uh, if you open up that mic. So exciting. Um, and it comes with the base unit here. All right. Now I know I don't. I know you can't see it too well, but on here it has the HDMI data port. Mm -hmm. It has the USB uh, port. It has a power port. I think this is for the USB, and it has two power connection ports. And when I seen um, uh, when I seen people use this. There was no audio on the tutorials on how to set this stuff up, um, but we're going to go full into it. Um, but I can tell you this is the power coming from um, the uh, power supply that you need. And this, if you get a different version of this, this is for your uh, graphics card. Mm -hmm. And I also forgot to mention there's a button on top, and it says it has to do with some type of flickering thing or whatever. But we'll go more uh, deep into it. Um, this other piece, it comes with. All right, this is very important. Not only can you use this device for the Alienware Alpha, you can also, depending on what type of cable you get, you can use it for a Mac Mini, so you can get ready for VR with that. Real important. Wow. Or you can use it with a laptop. But for the Alienware Alpha users, this is the uh, HDMI data transfer cable. It has HDMI on one side and it has this funky little port on the other side. Mm -hmm. Now this comes in two different ribbon types. It comes in the PCI Express type and then it comes with the NGFF. You want to make sure when you order this, I'll put a link in the description of all the stuff that you need, mm -hmm. you get the NGFF yeah. data port or cable or whatever. And it's real flimsy. Um, you want to make sure you don't puncture this. And it has enough length for you to uh, have your external car hooked up. But um, that's one of the main, that's the main piece that you need. Um, next, you would need to get a Wi-Fi card. Because in doing this build, you're going to lose your Wi-Fi card. So you definitely need to get one. Um, because that adapter that I just finished showing you, that goes into the slot where your Wi-Fi card mm -hmm. is at. And I didn't know that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 
the stuff that I got, I thought it would work, but thanks to Mr. Hall, man, you're a lifesaver. Um, uh, I already said the, the wireless card. Then you're going to need a 700-watt uh, power supply, ATX 700-watt power supply. Make sure it's an ATX 100-watt, uh, no, 700-watt power supply. I'm sorry. I, I hope I said 700 at the beginning, but the 700 watt power supply um make sure it has an on and off switch yeah. on the back of it that's very important you you'll know why once we do the build okay. um next you'll need a hub okay um on the back of the alienware alpha you have two uh usb 3.0 ports you have one underneath it's in the hidden compartment and you have two in the front now you don't necessarily need this but we're, I'm planning on putting the HTC Vive in this, and I'm, I'm running out of uh, USB ports because it don't have that many. Mm -hmm. There is a USB port on this device itself, but you would probably want to put your uh, your Wi-Fi card back on there, and I, I think that's why they did that. And uh, the most important thing besides this piece is you want to get a graphics card. Now, I'm getting the uh, MSI... GTX 970 gaming edition card. There is a GTX 970 card. Both of them have uh, 4 gigs of RAM on it, but um, this card is the overclocked gaming edition. Cool. You definitely want to get that. Um, once you get all that stuff, uh, just uh, watch the tutorial that we give, and man, you'll be playing. Uh, the games that you cannot really run on the Alienware now. Um, and the one thing that's good about it from what I've heard, because I did a lot of research on this, um, there is a way to use the GPU power from the card mm -hmm. to the Alienware Alpha. So this means that you don't have to have any, uh, you don't have to use the display ports mm -hmm. from the back of your graphics card. It would just use that power from the graphics card to do whatever it needs to do so you can play games. Wow. That's so awesome. um, that's that's pretty tight. So that's all the stuff that you need. The uh, description um, will be in, you know, in the links or whatever, and you can go ahead and order your stuff now. So by the time I get my graphics card, Mike gets his, we can all install our stuff together. Uh, give us a, a few weeks from the time that the show aired. I don't know if we already have our stuff, but um, if the show airs while we have our uh, uh, you know materials and hardware and stuff, we'll just go ahead and delay the show uh, maybe two or three weeks um, mm -hmm. so you can follow us. But if we do a live show, I want to know how many people are going to participate in this build with me. That That's going to determine if we do a live show or not. Right. If not, we'll just do a video tutorial. Okay. All right. Okay, friend. So really exciting about the Alpha Alpha project, man. Really look forward to it so we can play those those high definition games that we want to play, like they play on the high power PCs. Mm -hmm. We're making our own high power PC with this early more alpha. So like always, you guys can hit us up at the game show at gmail.com. You want us to review something, you want us to comment on anything, just hit us up there. And please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our Steam Rats community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. We want the facts. Gamer Show. See you guys next time. Keep on watching.